Hey, let me start tonight by saying I've never done this before. I really haven't. But due to the nature and the mature, sensitive aspect of the content of my opening comments tonight, I want to advise you that my comments may not be suitable for small children. So if you've got young children watching, you might want to have them out of the room or turn the sound off during the monologue because I want to balance being a reliably wholesome show, but I also want to be blunt and clear about a topic that I feel is vitally important for the families of America. So that disclaimer, never done it before, may not ever do it again. But I want to tell you that I grew up faithfully watching the Mickey Mouse Club on our black and white TV. And I was singing along with the opening and the closing songs every day. I knew all the Mouseketeers by name and probably even had a crush on the girl Mouseketeers like Annette Funicello. On Sunday nights, my family watched Disney's wonderful world of color. Although I never saw it in color. <laughs> color TV wouldn't be something my family had until I was in high school. And there wasn't a Disney World in Florida back then, just a Disneyland in California. And I dreamed that someday I'd get to go there. The Disney brand was magic. And Walt Disney was like everyone's favorite uncle who was rich and had all the cool stuff. I mean, the Disney movies were dependably wholesome, family friendly, and most all of them had a moral lesson embedded in the plot. Parents knew that their kids could see a Disney film and be entertained without being embarrassed or indoctrinated. Just a few years back, we took our entire family to Disney World. Oh, sure, it was mostly about taking the grandkids there and making sure that they were indulged to the hilt. But the wonderful family-friendly company that Walt Disney founded is gone replaced by creepy corporate executives who have lost their minds and will likely lose a lot of their customers. They certainly have lost me. Disney executives have outright lied about the Florida legislation that prohibits government schools from teaching sexual content to preschoolers and young elementary children. What person in his or her right mind would want a four-year-old child to be taught about homosexuality, transgenderism, and sexual expression. Disney execs repeated the utterly debunked lie that the bill was a don't say gay bill. Such language was nowhere, I mean nowhere in the bill. But then it gets worse. In a conference call, other Disney executive leaders expressed the goal that in future Disney movies, at least half of all the characters in the film are to be gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, queer, or something other than heterosexual, or they must be a racial minority. Watch. Many, many, many LGBTQIA characters in our stories, and, and, and yet we don't have enough leads. I don't have to be afraid to like, let's have these two characters kiss. Let's, in the background, this, like I was just, Wherever I could, just basically adding queerness to, like, the, if you see anything queer in the show, I'm proud of them. But, like, I, I just was like, no one would stop me and no one was trying to stop me. Now, those are Disney executives on a conference call, and journalist Christopher Rufo got a copy of the call, and that's how we ended up knowing what they were actually saying. This is not something manufactured. It's not hearsay. Those are Disney executives, some of the highest people in the organization, giddy with excitement about the agenda that they're going to put upon not just the company, but upon you. Look, I'm perfectly fine with representing all races, but I don't understand. I mean, do children really need to know about the sex lives of any cartoon characters? Is that necessary? And theme parks will in the future be forbidden from saying, hello, boys and girls. Instead, they will be required to say, Welcome dreamers and friends, because we don't want to call anybody a boy or a girl. And no more will little girls be called princess when they show up in their princess gown at a Disney property. I guess boys could be a princess under the new perverted Disney code, who knows? 
Folks, this is so outrageous that it's hard to believe that the Disney company has become such a purveyor of soft porn and wokeism that instead of entertaining children with fantasy and magic, Disney's new model is sexual fantasy, outright betrayal and rejection of traditional values of marriage and gender. And instead of moral neutrality, Disney has opted for immoral advocacy. So I wonder, will their remake of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs be called The Nymphomaniac and the Seven Male Prostitutes? <laughs> will Lady and the Tramp be renamed The Lesbian and the Housing Challenge Non-Gendered Animal? <laughs> What's next, Beauty and the Beast, called The Bisexual and the Child Predator? Where does this end? And Swiss Family Robinson now is gonna probably be about a dysfunctional family that becomes homeless and lives in a local park after wrecking their Volkswagen hippie van. Folks, I refuse to believe that the dishonesty and insanity from Disney represents what American parents and grandparents wanna purchase for their children. But the only way to push back against this filth is to find other products and places when you purchase entertainment for your family. This is no longer about party politics. A clear majority of Florida Democrats support the law that prohibits schools from indoctrinating four and five-year-old children about various sexual agendas that are probably not the agendas of the parents. I guess the small number of people supporting the perverted version of a public school will next want to trade in yellow school buses for white windowless utility vans, typically called kidnapper vans since that's pretty much the direction Disney is taking with your children. I'm old enough to remember when parents would say, sure, you can watch that movie. It's a Disney movie, so it'll be safe. Not anymore. This ain't kid stuff. And I, for one, don't want to enrich the people that have destroyed the Magic Kingdom and turned it into the perverted palace. Mickey shouldn't be the face of Disney anymore because the Disney character most representative of the company should be Goofy. Now, if you're seeing this, I know you've enjoyed that video. I mean, how could you not after all? So you know what you should do? Leave a like, click on the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell next to it so you'll always know when I have another video up for you to enjoy.